guys good morning all of you a very good morning uh, the weather is really fine so i uh, thought of making a video with you uh, based on the books required for statistics preparation in isi the isim start is really coming soon so let's get started uh, so i will tell you the plan accordingly and uh, uh, if you have any questions please do let me know in the comments so that i can answer that as soon as possible so let's get started um see so if we see and go through the preparation plan so first we'll discuss syllabus what is really required for statistics part so remember we only discussing the statistics part today so the uh, the entire idea revolves around uh, first it starts with probability i will not discuss probability uh, today i will discuss after probability so we will start with estimation theory and then testing hypothesis and then regression framework and then sample survey uh so we'll go through each four of this and the corresponding books and sections for each one of this so let's uh see what is there for us so first estimation theory i will give you two type of books book list and the sections required for the isi mstat preparation uh the beginner book list uh is uh, these are the books i really follow in our classes so i i that's why i suggest you the same the this is like the mathematical statistics and data analysis for by john a rice so you have to read this chapter this is a beginner level book okay remember this is a beginner level book so you if you are studying just now or if you are studying for your own preparation in the beginning this is the book for you so this is a beginner level book and uh, here we read the chapter 8 so what is there in the chapter 8 so if you go through the content list all of them are not in the syllabus here it's in the syllabus uh, you can understand that uh, basic we started with start with the parameter estimation and the idea of parameter estimation the best thing about this book is that this book has a lot of data inside it unlike the other books in the market uh, which is a lot of theoretical so this is a very good book to begin with because you can understand and relate to the, like a uh, data perspective this is also for the people who are planning to pursue data science in the future so it's a really good book to start with beginner level book and you have to uh, you have understand that first there is it gives an introduction about the idea what is the idea of parameter estimation okay well, like uh, with an example of emission of alpha particles and then it moves along Uh, through parameter estimation, the two algorithms, method of moments, and maximum likelihood estimator, and then it gives a lot of examples over here and how the MLE really behaves. And then this Bayesian is not there; you can read it for your own good. And uh, then this Kramer or Ward bound and uh, the sufficiency principles are there. So if you are really wanting to starting, like you have no statistics knowledge and you want to start with statistics, but you have a good grasp on probability, this is the best book I can suggest to you uh, in the market. So please do it, okay? Please do it so if you are a beginner in the statistics domain. so choose chapter 8 uh, you can like uh, leave the bashian part uh, initially okay the pro book part now for studies like point the estimation theory part is of course kasselberger and uh, the, it's like distributed along chapter 6 7 and 10 and uh, let's see what is there in the chapter 6 7 and 10 you see we have started left off with sufficiency in uh, data analysis like john edice ka book and here we are starting with chapter 6 which starts with sufficiency in a much more mathematical framework okay it's really important that you must leave where you have like we are starting where you have left in the previous book so go through this part it's a really mathematical book so there is no hardly any data inside unlike the previous book so make sure you do that beginner level book very like, in a well mannered fashion uh, with examples with lots of uh, problems and then you come to the sufficiency principle idea it's uh, then it comes to minimal sufficiency like if you do this book you will be really quite pro in statistical estimation part and if you do this initial data reduction part and then likelihood principle part is there which is the mle part and the equivalence principle you may leave or you may not leave it's up to you with what you want to learn which is not in the syllabus so you can do the 6.1 6.2 and 6.3 part over here and then this is a principle of data reduction that is reducing the data that is the idea of sufficiency now point estimation what you do is that for point estimation you uh, starts with exactly the same thing is a much more mathematical framework you can leave the base estimator in algorithm uh, initially or you can do this like this is not required for examination purposes 7.2 point you just do 7.2.1 7.2.2 and then uh, we understand how the estimators are good whether what are the properties of good estimators so you have uh, means msc best unbiased estimator sufficiency unbiasedness and loss function optimality and uh, other part are consistency and efficiency so you can do this uh, to totally get a grasp on the idea of consistency and everything okay and uh, this is a really good uh, this is really good so you have also umv over here so make sure you learn the, all of this very thoroughly good so this is the basic about uh, statistical estimation part i hope you don't have any uh, questions over here if you have any questions do let in the comment do let me know in the comments okay in the meantime 
uh, back to the next part is uh so okay i have missed something this is like consistency and efficiency but it's actually asymptotic large sample properties and sufficiency is like the small sample properties of the algorithms that is the method of moments national like estimator real estimators okay so make sure you read this properly to get a good, a good grasp on the point estimation part okay so there's a step three part now the testing or hypothesis part what you will do for the testing or hypothesis part you will do the following for the testing or hypothesis part <clears throat> uh there are two parts uh, beginner and pro for beginner i have always preferred this book i will suggest so the same book you have to read the chapter 9 of john rice i love this book because there are a lot of data inside it so which part you will prove so first there gives an introduction with a lot of data and then it goes ahead to the name and pearson paradigm it gives an algorithm how to find the uh testing okay that's a very good for the simple for the simple hypothesis and then it goes on to tell the name and pearson lemma is the best umv like ump test in the simple for the simple framework and give some uh, some like some more modification for theta like one simple versus a bit of complex hypothesis like composite hypothesis and then uh, the main idea is that we all, we don't have really good of book, like people tell that they don't know good books about conference interval and testing hypothesis there is a lot of relationship between that so don't forget to read this 9.3 and then we go to generalize likelihood ratio test and uh, we which is applied in the multinomial distribution you can uh, leave the rest of the 9.6 9.7 9.8 9.9 9.9 to uh, do from 9.1 to 9.5 to get a basic idea of what is testing a hypothesis in general okay and this is a beginner part and then let's move ahead for the pro same book kessler burger and here you find a lot of uh, you start with where we have left basic likelihood ratio test i have made it like clear that you we sh you should leave where like you should start from the beginning from in a pro level where you have left from the beginning level so uh this is likelihood ratio test it's starting from and then you can leave this bayesian test and a uniform like you just do it 8.2.1 and do the examples out there five pages long and then you understand that which are the good tests and uh, you understand what the error probability is the basics of testing hypothesis part the alpha beta the power the level of significance the critical region and then you understand the ump test what are ump test and the examples like ump test may not exist go through that examples because that can come as an option in iit jam on isi m stat like a given like prove that it doesn't ump test doesn't exist and la do the last uh, 8.3.3 and 8.3.5 you may not do it it's not required but you do 8.3.4 to understand the ideas of p values and uh, as i have told you hypothesis in gives rise to the confidence interval part so make sure you do the confidence interval part from this chapter 9 uh where you understand how to invert a test statistic idea the ump test statistic idea to get a confidence interval okay because we get a critical region for the for the estimation part which is which turns out to be if you invert it turns out to be a good region for a confidence interval region for the theta the parameter so and then we have five oral quantities you can leave it you may not leave it it's up to what uh, make sure you read 9.2.1 it's really 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 important so make sure you read it so what we have done uh, for like the basic part we do the john rice analysis book with the basic still 9.5 and then for the pro part you do 8 and 9 leaving the corresponding sections i have told you it's very important make sure you do it regularly and in a very consistent manner otherwise it's a, like it's a mathematical book so make sure you do it and don't forget to do the exercises and like discuss with your friends or teachers who have you have so to make the concept very clear because this is a mathematical book you need to solve problems to understand the previous book you may not solve may solve or may not solve but this is the book you should solve okay so this is a step 2 and step 3 is done uh, our step 3 are done and uh, now coming back to the regression and sample survey and over stuff so let's go to regression the beginner book is again the same book which i have already told you that uh, the mathematical statistics and data analysis because a lot of data is there and let's see i have taught my students from here initially and of course i did my own notes out there so simple linear regression the best book the best thing is about this this if you want to there are two aspects in regression simple linear regression and multiple linear regression so multiple linear regression is perfect over here okay so you can totally do it so multiple linear regression is perfect over here so you can do is what you can do is that you can start with simple linear regression do all this stuff so one thing is missing here is the estimation the testing hypothesis and too much of estimation part which will do in the pro region so you must do this 4.1 for like the chapter 4 uh, till 4.5 4.6 4.7 4.8 are advanced statistical and machine learning techniques don't know what to do that for the exam 
but make sure you do till 4.5 entirely otherwise you will miss out in the examination that is really 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 important and do it it's all the examples out there the examples are really good i have taught it to my students so they are really really important so you must understand this and you must do this okay this is really really important for the regression framework okay the pro region now the pro region may what is there in pro region it is what uh, it, it is it involves a bit of estimation and test, testing hypothesis part which we are doing now for the isi mstat region uh, the isi mstat preparation the previous part is for the iit iit me itna regression nahi aata hai but still um, it's mainly for isi mstat so isi mstat me it's everything is there but it's much more an mathematical framework remember to do 11.3.4 11.3.5 and 11.3.6 because these are important parts for isim start this is the estimation and testing hypothesis part okay so you see that 11.3.4 is the most important part of uh, at this region so do this and also this revolves around the fact that uh, regression is actually a conditional expectation uh, so you can get a lot of uh, probabilistic insights over here from this book So it's really really important and do the exercises. It's the most important part of Castleberger is the exercises. Are the exercises okay? So do the exercises, and uh, here we come to the step four. Yeah. So if you're really liking the video, do subscribe. Helps the people out here for the preparation of ISIM start self study. So last part of our video today now is sample survey. So what is the in sample survey? Sample survey have um, divided into two parts. One is the design of experiments. And the ANOVA part, which is there a bit of in ISI and start, and the sample survey in general, like SRS WR and SRS WR with the estimation part, that is really important. Again, the same book, data analysis ka book ka. That's why we have chosen this book, two books very carefully. Seven. The example is myself as a student when I was in ISI bachelor's first year, second year. We learned from this book itself, so it's really good. Do follow this book and make a ha like download a PDF and uh, make a print out if the book is too costly. but make sure you do this book okay for the initial beginning purposes uh so there are two aspects in 7.3 7.1 so all of them are really important uh for isi you can do till 7.4 7.3 is a really important part here you do srs wr and srs wr and here you uh do the here we have the uh, like the estimation purpose like estimation purpose of the mean and the variance with the calculations are really important the covariance the expectation of covariance and all the stuff variance covariance expectation all these things are really really important the calculation perspective and isi i will tell you something itna calculation nahi aayega it based on total probability okay mostly it's probability but uh, if you have some like if you need to be confident in this so that you understand that less amount of calculation is required so from 7 uh, you must do till 7.1 7.2 7.3 and 7.4 the rest of the part you can do cannot do but 7 till 7.4 is really important for other exams other than isi mstat and iit jam there are exams like du presidency a lot of uh, other exams the bhu for that the stratified random sampling may be important so you can do this for also from this book okay the pro region the pro region the uh, that involves a bit of anova and you can do the read the 11th chapter of castle burger which is anova and it involves everything over the one way anova so it gives an two way anova will not come in the exam i hope it is really like involved in mathematical stuff uh, the testing and estimation part so make sure you do this one way anova full maybe or maybe not i don't know like we are not really focusing on this because isi never gives too much problems from this okay because it focuses on the really basic part it involves a lot of complicated ideas and theorems so you can do it but for the other uh, examination other than isi imsa and iit jam you this is a must for you to do so do this from this exam like from this part for the other examinations and this is what i have to offer you till uh, like so we have four parts as we have discussed we have discussed all the steps probability will be coming later on i will again make a video for the books for probability in itself So estimation part, testing hypothesis, regression, and sample survey. We are given the beginner and pro level. If you have missed, if you are live just right now, you can go back and see the video entirely. And let me know if you have any comment, if you have any doubts regarding what to do, and if you have any other doubts, let me know in the comments. And uh, if you really like, uh, if you really like interacting with us and help, like like us sharing the knowledge, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and please do share with your friends who are really in need of this during this time. Stay safe, stay blessed, and stay tuned. See you in the next video. Bye bye. So I have seen.
see some questions over here by Prerna. She's like, which statistics have a really good impact on future. If you love data, so I will not force on you, Prerna, but uh, Priyadarshini, but if you love statistics, if you love data, if you love numbers, statistics is one of the field you must explore and see whether it's connecting to your soul or not. Otherwise, it's up to you. And if it's, uh, yeah, so Sritaja has already answered. Thank you, Sritaja. So see you in the next video. Stay tuned and stay blessed. Thank you for supporting us. Bye-bye.